Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Jada Toys Diecast Metals Captain America Civil War War Machine. This is uh, product M59 and spots continued look at the Civil War line from the folks over at Jada Toys. Uh, he certainly will be a great accompanying piece to the uh, Iron Man that we've already had a look at on this channel. Down below there's a picture of War Machine. Also a half same image of War Machine on the side of the box. And the other figures as well, all of which we've already had a look at, is the Hulk and Thor 2-pack, the original Iron Man Mark 1, a 4-inch Hulk from Avengers, Thor from Avengers Age of Ultron, the War Machine and Ant-Man from Civil War, and then a 6-inch version of Deadpool, a 6-inch version of War Machine, and a 6-inch version of the Hulk. To check out this and more from the folks over at Jada Toys, head over to www.jadatoys. It's down there, right down there, jadatoys.com. That being said, Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. But when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Jada Toys die cast medals, the Captain America Civil War War Machine. If there's more heading away, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. War Machine is presented here uh, sporting his uh, Gatling gun shoulder cannon as well as his baton in his other hand. Uh, the baton uh, is not removable. You cannot take it out of his hand or anything like that. There's the back side of the figure. Uh, unfortunately, you can see some of the screws, but as Spots mentioned in previous videos, I mean, you're not going to be really looking at them unless you're somebody that loves to displaying your figures from the back, uh, you know, it, it f looks fully finished from the front. Paint is more subtle here on War Machine, opting the route more of a kind of a dark, it's not quite black, it's almost a borderline dark, it's almost one shade back from black being more a dark, dark, dark gray. Uh, as for the visor on the front of his helmet, it's more of a silver color which carries a little bit into the shoulder area and a little bit also into the arm area too. A Jada Toys does not skimp on details. War Machine, no exception here. He's got some little markings here on his shoulder as well as on his bicep with 003 and some markings as well on the torso area. Things I do like about this figure are the bright red outlines of his eyes and as well around the arc reactor, just making a lot of that pop. The red also is a nice touch too, that really adds a little extra oomph to it. Speaking of oomph, these figures do, do have a lot of oomph to them. They unfortunately don't have any posability, uh, but the trade-off, and this is something I've mentioned before as well, the trade-off though is you just get a really great looking representation. Super deformed, obviously War Machine doesn't really look like this with a large head and small body, but you get a super deformed, super detailed, and super painted, though War Machine maybe doesn't convey that necessarily, but you look the likes of the Jokers and Harley Quinns and stuff like that from the Suicide Squad is a good idea, good examples of the level of paint that they put into their pieces. Yes, War Machine is a little bit more on the subtler side of releases, but he certainly will will look very good next to the Iron Man that we've already had a look at, and he also will have will also stand quite nicely next to uh, the Ant Man that we've also had a look at too. At uh, today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Jada Toys Captain America Civil War. This was War Machine. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's gonna have more collectible spots in your way. As always, I thank you for watching. Spot really appreciates that. I'll see you next time.